pumpkin juice. Apologise for my red and slightly sweaty aesthetic. It is 27 degrees in Scotland and I was not made for hot climates. You can usually count on Scotland to have its summer over with by now, but apparently not, apparently not. So as you can all see from the rather exciting title down below, this is my question mark TBR for the fourth round of Tome Topple, which is two entire weeks away. So there is plenty of time for you guys to help me with my choices. Last Tome Topple, I did okay. I didn't, I didn't do great, but I did okay. This Tome Topple, I want it to be better. In case you haven't heard of Tome Topple before, it is a readathon dedicated to books of over 500 pages. That is, of course, entire books, not collections or bind ups or short stories or anything else like that. It is large tomes that intimidate us. And it is a well documented fact on my channel that I am a recovering, I will not read anything over 300 pages person, and I have been doing way way better the last couple of years. I have read like books that are in excess of a thousand pages. I feel accomplished. This time around, however, because I have accomplished reading several more long books, I'm a little bit undecided about which long books I want to tackle next. So I'm going to give you guys a range of books and I would like votes for two. Two books. One for each week. So I am going to try to dedicate myself in those weeks to reading nothing else except each one of those two books. No book dating. So with that said, onwards. So the first book that I would like you guys to vote for or not is Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb. This is the first book in her Live Ship Traders trilogy which is the second trilogy in her overall series The Realm of the Elderlings directly following the Farseer trilogy. This one takes us away from Fits and the Fool to other goings on in her world and as you can see I have already started it but I think I put it down because it was intimidating me at the time. So this is book one. Book two would go towards another book being ticked off of my ABC challenge and it is Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. So far I have ticked off Bastard Out of Carolina by Dorothy Allison and I am currently reading Behind the Scenes at the Museum by Kate Atkinson. And the rules of my challenge are that I only have to read one A before I can move on to the Bs as long as I'm prioritising the oldest book on my shelf but I have quite a lot of unread A's so I kind of wanted to make a dent in them before I move on to the B's and this one is by far the longest A that I have left. So this is book two and on the general theme of books that have been on my shelf for a little while this is book three. This is Six of Crows by Hideo Yokoyama and it is a crime thriller which is as big as my head. This one starts in Tokyo of 1989 when a schoolgirl, a seven year old, is kidnapped and goes missing. The case goes unsolved and becomes known as 6 4. This one was very wow when it came out, and lots of people who did manage to truck through this absolutely massive novel have loved it. So, this is book three. Book four is going to be a book which I think is going to be on quite a few people's TBRs for this Tome Topple and it is Stephen King's It. This is one of those books that absolutely qualifies as a tome because it's over a thousand pages long. Stephen King, as I have said before, has never met a word that he didn't like and I dread to think what his manuscripts look like before they are edited but I love him anyway. And you don't like horror then... Approach at your own risk. So that's book four. And finally, book five is one that I think you guys will probably recognise if you're a crime and thriller fan because that is correct. It is another crime and thriller book. It is The Crow Girl by Eric Axel Sund. This one is about a uh, detective, Jeanette Kilsberg? Jeanette Kilberg. I was close. I was close. I get points for that. Who is put on a murder case and the two bodies have no clues other than the marks that they are completely covered in and she decides she's going to find the murderer at all costs. Unfortunately her superiors strangely are not really into this idea and so putting her career on the line she teams up with another female psychologist. Woo! Feminist girl power! 
and they proceed to defy all expectations to try and find the murderer. So this paperback just came out and you're getting a sneak peek into a haul right here. Mm -hmm. So that's it guys, those are all of the books that I would like you guys to vote on for my Tome Tobble Tea Tome Tobble really need to finish this video because you know the heat's gone to my head. Tome Topple T B R. All you have to do to vote is either put the numbers of the books that you would like to vote for or the names in the description. So very quickly, book one is Ship of Magic by Robin Hobb. Book two is Alias Grace by Margaret Atwood. Book three is Six Four by Yadio Yokoyama. Book four is It by Stephen King. And book five is The Crow Girl by Eric Axel Sund. I'm gonna go and plunge myself into an icy bath. Please tell me if you guys are planning on taking part in Tome Topple. If you are, what are you going to be reading? Are you going to be a challenge queen and manage to finish all of the challenges? Because I'm not. Spoilers.